I'm the lifestyle, I'm unbreakable There's a lot of different places I could take them to When it comes to footwear, I'm unbreakable I am unbreakable, my show unbreakable Army unbreakable, therefore I'm thanking you We are unbreakable, I am unbreakable What up, what up, what up, unbreakable kicks Army, I'm shocked No pun intended, but I'm shocked but before we get to that army man, shout out to y'all man. We hit what 240,000 members of the Unbreakable Army. I know I don't really pay attention to the numbers like I used to army, but I appreciate everybody that hits that subscribe button, that notification bell, and smash that thumbs up, man. Bump the shock drop, bro. Bump that. We gonna talk about that, man. But shout out to y'all army. We almost had 5,000 members of the army in a live. On a Tuesday at 1.23 p.m. Central Standard Time. Like, I appreciate y'all time, man. So, again, thank y'all for joining the live, smashing that thumbs up. I know it's been dry. I ain't been live as much. But, man, y'all always welcome me back with Open Arms Army. And I appreciate y'all. And for that army, again, all merch. All merch is $35 or less. If y'all need any merch, make sure y'all hit me up. From the hoodies to the windbreakers to the hats, everything is $35 or less. Again, Army, I appreciate y'all. Hit your boy up if y'all want to purchase anything that y'all just saw. Now, let's go ahead and talk about why I'm shocked. I'm shocked for a couple reasons, man. Number one was the Air Jordan 4 Thunders has so much hate in the live stream today. I'm just like... Where's all this animosity for the Thunder Force coming from? Like, I remember when we first heard that we were getting these, a lot of people was excited. And it was just like, people were like, man, we ain't rocking with them. But then again, like, a lot of people didn't rock with the Lightning. But I understood that. I'm just like, man, the Lightning is literally a yellow, a bright yellow shoe. But having the black new bug with the hints of the yellow for the Thunder in there. And plus, mugs went crazy for the Red Thunders. Like, y'all still drooling over the Red Thunders. Like, Red Thunders like a $400 shoe right now. And I personally, and again, it's just my opinion, I feel like these are better than these. Now, of course, everybody gonna like these because it's a red and black Air Jordan, man. But as far as just nostalgia and what this shoe did, like, people, ugh. Army, I, I'm just different. Like, I look at shoes differently. Like, I look at what it did for the community. 2006, when we got the Lightnings and the Thunders, like, that changed how a lot of people looked at Air Jordans, and it was just a different twist. We were used to OGs. We were used to red and black or cool gray or aqua or UNC, but Jordan brands started giving us different colorways, man, and I'm just surprised that these got so much hate. Now, the Red Thunders are not bad. Oh, I wouldn't still have them in a boat. But I'm just I'm just used to nostalgia, man. Like, I just like the Air Jordan 4 Thunders better than the Red Thunders. I do feel like with as many pairs as they did drop for the shock drop, it will be quality control issues just like these. But, I mean, that's I hate to say that's what to expect when it comes to Jordan brand. Now, again, it was a ton of pairs that dropped. And these do drop again May 13th. And I'm just like, bro, how many pairs is going to be left for the actual release? Because for those who did not catch the live, man, it was a lot of pairs. No size three and a half for men. Size four and men, 20 pairs. Four and a half, 57. Size five, 39. Size five and a half, 105. Size six, 201. Size six and a half, 220. Size seven, 2,767. Size seven and a half, 3,344. Size eight, 10,404. Size eight and a half, 11,192. Size nine, 12,047. Size nine and a half, 14,784. Size 10, 18,877. 10 and a half, 18,444. Size 11, 19,648. And I still took an L. I always say, bro, when it's that many pairs, it's just like Jordan Brand and Nike, like, you will get them. You good? Like, nah, you, you you straight, bro. Like, we know where you stay. We know your address. Nah, we blocking all that. Because I, 
Bro, I never hit when it's a lot of pairs like this. I might hit on a draw or something like less available, 50,000 pairs. But when it's like 160 some thousand, they're like, bro, you good. And which I am. You know, I ain't tripping. 11 and a half, 9,260. Size 12, 17,377. 12 and a half, 1720. 13, 12,133. Size 14, 5,385. Size 15, 1,671. Size 17, 172. And size 18, 0. So they had over 160,000 pairs, man. 160,000 pairs. Now, I did end up getting a dub on grade school sizes. And shout out to Donald Cars because he was the one who actually sent me the grade school stock numbers. Size three and a half, 884. Size four wide, 1,917. Size four and a half, 1812. Size five wide, 3,093. Size five and a half, 2,799. Size six wide, 4,170. Size six and a half, 4,673. And size seven wide, 7,877 for a grand total of 27,225. And again, I hit a grade school, but couldn't get a dub on the mid pairs. Like, I just don't be knowing what be going on with my account. But shout out to everybody who did get a dub. Now, it was some issues that I was peeping during the live. Like, a lot of people said that they couldn't enter. You know, they said like it was blacked out where it normally say purchase. Um, some people were saying like they kept getting network errors and a lot of people were saying that it took so long because they actually dropped at 123 Central Standard Time, which is 223 Eastern Standard Time. And a lot of people were saying that it's a delay because Nike was doing like a clearance on the box. They were trying to make sure that, you know, the box wasn't getting through. And I always feel like box are still going to eat. Like it was a member of the army now. I don't know who be capping in the comment section, y'all. Like, some guy was like, man, I hit 19 size 11 and a half. Somebody else was like, I hit 12 size 12s. Like, I don't know who be telling the truth up in the chat, but I definitely feel like Bot still ate. Like, that's 160,000 pairs. Some pairs are going to slip through, Army. So, again, I'm just surprised at how many people was anti Air Jordan 4 Thunder. Even like Shuby. You know, like John Brown was like, Man, you know, I'm gonna just wait to use my discount. I think he had like a $50 Dick Sporting Goods, you know, discount that he planned on waiting to use. But Army, if they got that many pairs, Nike always shock drop big stock like that when they already know this is a massive GR. So, yes, these did drop a month early, but if you can wait another month, like when we got on the live, prices was like $400, 420 some sizes. By the time we got off the live, Pairs had went down to like 290, but then they slowly started getting back into those low threes. So I say, wait, people ain't even got their pairs in from Sneakers app yet. Most of them going over to StockX and GOAT because they definitely was moving them joints, you know, as the shop drop was going on. But where do y'all see these ending up? I don't even know where the Air Jordan 4 Lightnings are sitting right now. Again, I feel like more people would like the Thunders better than the Lightnings. So if the Lightnings ain't really busting like that, I can't really see the Thunders busting like that either. Like, let me check the Thunders. Right now, they stay, they're going back up. Size 10 and a half, highest B at 315, lowest ass is 325. And I feel like they're going back up now because a lot of people getting bit by that FOMO bug. Like, I know how it is when it comes to the shock drop and you take them L's, man. You, you, you want to you wanna get the shoe too. You know what I'm saying? Like size 11 right now in the Air Jordan 4 Lightnings is literally 300 bucks. Literally a $300 shoe. And again, people getting bit by that FOMO bug and that's why they, you know, paying the prices that they paying. And that's on them, bro. If you got the bread and you don't want to wait that money, do you. Do you. But here's the thing though, bro. Like Jordan 4s, I know what they do. I knew what time it was. I mean, it's so crazy. And I should have kept it in a video yesterday, man. Video I did yesterday, I had put a little hidden message up in that joint. I was just like, I see all the mob. And I actually took it out because I'm just like, I don't want to be the person that, you know, say it's going to be a shock drop and then it get canceled or whatever the case may be. And then I wake up this morning, boy, and everybody already talking about it. They were talking about it last night. So I'm just like, well... Most people know, but I'm just going to go live 
about an hour beforehand. Now, a lot of people in the chat, they was just like, man, break, you know, the Thunder Fours, I'm going to pass on them or I'm cool, but what's good with these lost and founds? Like, that's what I honestly thought was going to drop today because I had a word last week that lost and founds was going to drop on Tuesday. But maybe Nike wind up switching it up. Hey, man, we're going to get them the Thunders on Tuesday. And then the Lost and Found is going to come later on. Because I would have expected the Thunders to drop maybe like two weeks before they actually drop. They dropped literally almost a month before they actually drop. Now, someone said that Sniper Kick said that the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Founds is going to drop after the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott's. Which makes sense. Either way it go, Army, when we first heard about the Lost and Founds, I literally said... Jordan brand and Nike is doing this for a couple reasons. Number one, Sneakers app has been dry. Like, nobody was on Sneakers app prior to them talking about Lost and Founds and Thunders. Ain't nothing really good coming out. Like, they ain't been doing none of them sneaker lives or anything. Like, Sneakers app was like a desert for a little bit. And then it started picking up that steam when they started talking about shop drops. Now, I did say it makes sense for them to do this because they already know people going to take L's on the 26th for the Travis Scott's. Like, they already know that. It's like they were trying to cushion a blow back, giving us the loss of founds beforehand, but it may be better for them to drop them afterwards because you already know Mud's gonna be in their feelings over them Travis Scott's, but what is a better way to ease that pain than giving somebody a chance at the loss of founds? Now, here's my gripe with this. If this is how it went with the Thunder Fours with 160,000 pairs and so many L's, I can just imagine what it's going to be like with the Lost and Founds. Like, how, how many pairs do y'all think they're going to drop? Y'all think they're going to drop like 30,000? They definitely probably ain't dropping no 160K. Do they got it? Maybe. You know what I'm saying? But they definitely ain't dropping no 160K. Now, I might eat my words. I eat my words that they do drop about 160K pairs of these Lost and Founds, but I don't think so. Also, how they going to do it? Are they going to do it via the draw? Word gets out the specific time for the Jordan 1 Lost and Founds, the sneakers app is donezo, bro. Like, it's done. Especially if they do a shop drop, it may not pop up. You may not be able to enter. Your address is going to be different. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have network errors. Like, I just see this Lost and Found. If, if news of the Lost and Found shop drop get out like the Thunder Force, Nike ain't got no chance of protecting the sneakers app. Like, yeah, we was getting 35-minute delayed dubs because, again, they were trying to protect this release from the bots, but bro, like, y'all better bring the whole squad when it comes to these Lost and Founds, because it's going to be trouble, man. Everybody wants the Lost and Founds, and that's probably why so many people was feeling the way they felt about the Thunders now. Had they dropped Lost and Founds first, then the Thunders, maybe more people would have been prone to them, but I'm still shocked how many people was not rocking with the Air Jordan 4 Thunders, y'all, but y'all let me know in the comments, man. Let me know if y'all got a dub. Again, I got a dub on a grade school pair and I've yet to even check to see what size it was bro it could have been a six and a half or a seven one of those two sizes but I did get a dub on the Air Jordan 4 Thunders in a grade school size also army I did go ahead and bookmark another whatnot live stream the link is in the description section below I created the live stream while we was live for the Air Jordan 4 so make sure y'all bookmark that still got plenty of shoes for another whatnot army again 35 dollars for or less for all of the merch so again make sure y'all hit me up for that congrats to those who did get a dub this saturday the air jordan one watch denims drop and the air jordan 13 black flints i've yet to do a review on the black flints army if i get a pair sometime man within the next couple days i definitely will still give you guys that early review i love you guys i appreciate y'all smash that thumbs up Hit that notification bell. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. You got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable Vault. Unbreakable Army stands strong like always. Most importantly, hug your loved ones and of course remain humble. And we out. I hit Unbreakable for the Yeezys. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old tough, but he get amusing. Yours old, him first season. The most beefy looking like.